Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair where we have some sick people in the hospital that we are about to run and check on. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Oh, Fuyuhiko, you're here yeah. already. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Sure, can we check up on the other two instead though? <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Of course, I guess he is the one that gave us the death scare. Worry. Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Well, because you're human, Hajime. Still. Alrighty. What's the word, nerd? Huh? What happened? Weren't you gonna go to Nakito's room? Uh, yeah. Just wanted to see if uh, you had anything to say. He's in the middle. Yep. Room two. Where is Nekomaru, though? That's what I wonder. Yes? Mikan, how's Nagito? Um, same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. D are you fucking serious? Uh, his pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Probably exhausted caring for three people all by herself, day and night. Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Yep, looks like they're ready. Now then. Uh, I, yeah, I just said that. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Sure enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Well, hello again, Kazuichi. Hello. How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your broke-ass faces. Thanks. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. We're all here, except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um... She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So, how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. You... I already know he's seriously dangerous. Th those are two different things. Well... No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But... Is... But he is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First Nakamaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we can't really say. Yes! You really can't say? 
That's impossible. Monami, what are you... Why are you on that side? Um... Because it'd be dangerous if I got too close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> you are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. That doesn't make a lot of sense. You should be immune, right? Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal. She seriously pisses me off. Damn it. I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyahiko practically spat those words before he went outside. We really should be taking over for Mikon so that she's not the only one caring for people in here. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. Alright, so nighttime announcement. I guess we lost the whole day. I would love it if it would let me do free time events with Fuyuhiko while we're in here, but, but apparently that's not going to happen. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee, it is now. Please return to your room now, Ben. Sweet. Alright, so no one's dead yet. Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over now it's nighttime already. I feel the same way, sir. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez, you're pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. For Yahiko, you are a much, much more pleasant person now that you've stowed the attitude away. Hello. You looked really creepy in the shadow there, Ibuki. No offense or anything. Whoa, Ibuki? What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Bye-bye. It's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Me too. I know we're supposed to be checking on Nagito, but... Oh, it will let us in. Cool. Make sure she's okay in here. Yes. Just as you ordered, I am getting proper rest, so please do not worry. Sure thing. Glad to hear it. Can we not lock these doors so she doesn't wander off? Seems a bit dangerous, if you take my meaning. Well, Akane's here. <laughs> yes, it's night time again. It's so dark, I'm so scared, I'm going to get eaten by ghosts. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, ghosts don't eat. Usually she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Akane acting like this just isn't Akane. Um, both of the extremes we've experienced with Akane so far are not pleasant, to be honest, but... 
I suppose it'd be better to have her back to her normal self. Where is Mikon? Can I go up and see if she's in the on-call room? I can go up. I can't go in there, right? Nope. You sleeping in here, Mikon? No? It's a little strange. Well, it's showing her as being in the hospital. Maybe it's just not going to let us interact with her at this point. Let's check the conference room, I suppose. Where are you hiding, Mikan? Uh, nowhere apparently. Fine, let's go check on. No oh wait, she's probably with Nagito. I am being silly. Of course, that's where she is. Don't know what made me think she'd be anywhere else. Yep, there she is. Yes? Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Looks like you finally noticed. Ooh. Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. The things you say. Yeah. Um, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. What? Are you, by chance, worried about me? Of course. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo. How's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikon than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up pretty quickly. Like, they had nothing new to report. They were apparently trying to find some kind of cure, but there hasn't been any progress. So, on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh well, let's look forward to tomorrow. Yeah. This can't go on much longer. There has to be a murder soon. This can't just keep carrying on. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. <sighs> My worries have piled up so high that one sigh just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's... Like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to get to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time. And slowly closed my eyes. Are we skipping Monokuma Theater this time? 
out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. Ooh, dream sequence? From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly. Hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. Are you recovering memories? That would be awesome. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, this is a memory from before Hope's Peak. So did they take more than Hope's Peak memories from Hajime? If he semi-remembers his classroom but doesn't remember where it was? If that's the case, that shoots a hole in my theory that he didn't discover his talent until after he came to Hope's Peak. Huh. Why would they take more from Hajime than everyone else? But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I but even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Huh, know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Oh, are we actually discovering that Hajime is sort of like Makoto with no talent? Even Nagito has the lucky talent in this one, so... Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Well, I never knew that way was possible, so he's the same too. Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Peak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? They're talking about you, Hajime. Why can't I remember? Who am I? You are who you are, and that's enough. Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? Is it? So, I'm going to tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. And now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful! What an epic fail! That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listened to me, want to buy this fuzz? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Hmm. It's morning, huh? 
but for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Is Mekon in your uh, cottage? Wait a minute. What the hell, Mekon? What is the I, deal with I you? I can't believe it. <laughs> no, stop. You're tickling me. Mekon, again? You need to get the lock fixed on your door. What is cyanosis? Sleepwalking? No, cyanosis is blue or grayish skin. Uh, a sign of suffocation, I guess. Uh, Hajime's gone limp. Uh, please get a hold of yourself. What are you doing here, Mikan? He regained consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Mikan, why are you why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't even aired yet. <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. I mean Alright. You've probably been working around the clock, I understand. What kind of accident is that? Wait, why did you come to wake him up? Has something happened? But... But good news! You see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyahiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Yes! Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Y yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. Well, it's okay to be pumped up for Nagito because I'm pretty sure if he died, Monokuma would still try to blame it on someone. All right, see you in your room. Um, Nagito is in his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Uh, okay. Will we be allowed to check on the other two again? Um, uh, no, apparently uh, not. Um, okay, that's fine. Same thing with Akane? Um. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Is he going to be standing? Yes, indeed. He's still drooling, though. And he's got those spiral eyes. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Um. Nagito, can you hear me? Hachime came by to see how you were doing. Ugh. Oh, has he lost the ability to speak? The twin Ibukis are singing. I see. Ibuki must have been a twin duo. Ugh. The Veronicas. I don't think he's really improving. I think his sip sip I think his symptoms are just morphing. Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. <sighs> they were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. <laughs> the Veronicas, that's the answer. Huh. 
After seeing this, it might have been better if he had stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I feel dizzy somehow. Everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Um, then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. I mean, I'll take care of these guys while you sleep. Um, or I'll relax in the lobby and let them fend for themselves, I guess. And then, even though it's morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. Being super tired is actually worse than being drunk as far as decision-making and reactions and things, so I totally understand that. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she did fall asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <sighs> Yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. So is he still got the liar disease? So is this a lie or is this some new aspect? Not that it matters. Goodbye. Now can I? Nope. Apparently not. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. So, I'm still not going to be allowed to check on the other two. Huh? Oh. Why are they transmitting already? Is something wrong? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. This bodes ill. Have we got a murder on our hands? If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? Maybe from the other side. If you catch my drift. The ghostly realm. But that's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. Might be certain. It might be something urgent, though. I would imagine it is if it's before time. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reached my hand and pressed the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? It's a stepladder and a noose. Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop. Uh, you mean a noose? And beneath it there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? It's nothing good, that's for certain. I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? Oh, is this the music venue for sure? And that's when it happened. Hajime, leave this thing right now and run to the music venue. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen. Doesn't matter who it is, they've got a bag over their head. If you stop watching this right now and run, you could probably get there and stop them. Chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. Of course, that's not going to happen, I suppose. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. 
Is that the same hemp bag from the movie theater that Monokuma said was a special prize? What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. Well, it's too late now. And began climbing the step ladder. The only question is, who is suiciding here? And why? Slowly, slowly they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The scene suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Is this the morning announcement or the body discovery announcement? Because if it's the body discovery announcement, then that was hella fast for three people to discover it. Good no, morning, just everyone. the regular uh, everyday morning announcement. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to get to the music venue. Uh, yes? Oh, darn it. Now's not the time for me to have to wiggle my mouse game. And of course, we're in the parking lot instead of inside, so... Wait, there's a fire. Why are... Were those fires here previously? Please, please let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. I think it's a girl. That the hands looked feminine. I was too late. What the hell is this? And the monitor smashed? That was quick. How did the monitor down there get smashed? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, that's not... Now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Oh, the, the body discovery announcement? You need two more people to show up. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. Then I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I, I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out here. As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. You fiend. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket, so it was you. G Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Hmm? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. C could it be? Yeah! 
I renounce you! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? If only it were so. Hold it. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is. Isn't it obvious? You fiend. Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. Well, while I admire your positive thinking, Gundam, uh, it's true. But still... But there's no way we shouldn't check it out, because if Hajime is telling the truth, <gasps> that means it happened again, right? That's... a killing! Hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. Fine. If that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me! And you fiends go on ahead. We need a third person so that Monokuma will make the announcement, though. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Though maybe we could do an end around Monokuma's whole time limit on investigation thing. If we keep everyone else from actually seeing the body, then he can never make the body discovery announcement, and so we will have virtually unlimited time to investigate. That would be cool. Um, that sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? It is. Though we need to be <gasps> thorough, too. But is it really true? You know, uh, uh, yeah. just saying it out loud is horrifying. You fiend. You seriously are a loud one. Your presence alone ruins tense situations. Hmm? My presence ruins tense situations? That sounds like an important problem. How long have I been making that mistake? Taste your powerlessness! Ever since your character was formed. Yippee That goes for you, too. Good instincts. You certainly talk big now. Do these guys get along? It seems they do. Very well, too. Bantering back and forth. <laughs> no need to worry. Who do you think I am? Well, apparently you're the Supreme Overlord of Ice. Unless you decide to add to your title again in the future. I can see it! No matter the trap, it is mere child's play. Compared to me, I shall destroy any and all traps. Okay, then. Catch you guys later. We've got a body to discover. Hajime! Well, here's our number three, apparently. Mikon, why are you here? Perfect timing! Please help us, Hajime! Did you find the body already? Hey, hey. Oh, Hajime. Someone's coming from over there. Huh? Hajime and Chiaki? What are you guys doing here? Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? No shit! Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Damn it, that's who... That's who it was that hung herself. Looking for Ibuki? Aww. I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So, what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? The hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask, just follow me. Huh? Music venue? Uh, uh, is Ibuki going to be there? I'm afraid so. Um. Yes, she she is she is definitely going to be here, Mikon. My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? I mean, we don't know for certain, but that's what it seems like. The only way to know is to go inside and confirm. 
if that hang body really is Ibuki. Okay, apparently these fires are not interactable. Hey, bastard! You made me run this far! There better be something worth seeing in here! I mean, I don't know that it's worth seeing, but there is certainly something. Perhaps... Is Ibuki in here? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I'm thinking too much. No. Your bad feeling is indeed justified. So is it Ibuki or someone else? That discovery will need to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.